ఉంటుంది అని తెలిసి ఉంటారు ఇది కాన్స్టిట్యూషన్ సెట్ అప్ త్రీ ఆర్గల్స్ ఆఫ్ ది గవర్నమెంట్ ఎగ్జిక్యూటివ్ జ్యుడిషియరీ అండ్ లెజిస్లేచర్ లెజిస్లేచర్ మేక్స్ లా లా ఇస్ ఇంప్లిమెంటెడ్ స్కీమ్స్ ఆర్ ఇంప్లిమెంటెడ్ బై ది గవర్నమెంట్ బై ది కలెక్టర్స్ అండ్ వేరియస్ అదర్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్స్ కలెక్టర్ ఇస్ ది హెడ్ ఆఫ్ ది డిస్టిక్ he has nearly 54 to 58 departments of the district and the judiciary as it now it is both common for the state government and the central government the uniform system of judiciary has taken up the cost the cost of the rendering justice to the people if you need the ప్రియాన్ ఆఫ్ ది కాన్స్టిట్యూషన్ జస్టిస్ ఎకనామిక్ సోషల్ అండ్ పొలిటికల్ సో ఇన్ దట్ ప్రాసెస్ బీయింగ్ జడ్జెస్ వీ ఆర్ టేకింగ్ కేర్ ఆఫ్ ది కాస్ ఆఫ్ ది పబ్లిక్ ఐదర్ ఇది ఎకనామిక్ స్పియర్ పొలిటికల్ స్పియర్ అండ్ సోషల్ స్పియర్ నా వీ ఆర్ మోర్ కన్సర్న్ apart from the disposal of cases and rendering justice to the people we are concerned with the knowledge of law knowledge of the government schemes the benefits therein and improvement and upliftment of the people in the legal education how the our country system our country is running what are the laws how the basic laws are very much needed to regulate the activities in the society and the system. So, each state consists of several districts. Our district consists of the Talukas and in them town panchayas and the village panchayas. That's how our system is organized from the, uh, from the state level to the district level, Taluka level and the Gram panchayas level. The people who are all the citizens of this country are governed by the well-written constitution. Soon after we got the independence in 1947, in 1915, when we have enacted a constitution and adopted a democratic republic constitution, this provides for distribution of powers between the state and center and also the uniform judiciary for both center and state, the common judiciary and the power of the executive. Ours is a parliamentary form of government where the government is under the control of parliament or the legislature of the states. As long as majority party enjoys the major support of the elected candidates, they will run the government. Our elections are for once in five years. The governance of the country, the administration of the country, either through the ministers and the permanent executives like the district collectors, police officers and the officers of the various departments, they are all answerable for the legislature, who are the elected head of the the constituency, Talukas, or the parliamentary area and local panchayas like Taluka panchayas and Jilla panchayas and Mandal panchayas or village panchayas. Here, these elected representatives will take the accountability of the work executed, how the work has to be executed and how much budget is sanctioned how the country, how, how the concern of the officers have to take the responsibility of uplifting the very small units like villages, ramp and choice. In the distribution of the power between the center and state, between the uh, state and, and the state, or the head, head of the district, Taluka heads, and the village heads, like uh, Panchayat Chairman on the executive side, and then on the lo lo local body, and the officers, village panchayat, the village assistant, or the village secretaries, revenue secretaries, 
and the school teachers, especially if you are not people, people belonging to the education department and people belonging to various departments and their responsibility. Once, when our the budget is found in the uh, state legislature, amount is distributed to various departments for the upliftment of the people. Especially nowadays, we have been seeing the unorganized sectors like the masons, the fishermen, the weavers, agricultural laborers, and also especially nowadays, the children, after 14 years, they can be a laborer, but before 14 years, if they are employed, it is an offense and exploitation of child labor is punishable.